for the gay podcast dom damali here what's up what's up you guys back with another review today i will be reviewing the bet awards 2016 all right so i wasn't sure if i was gonna do um a review for the bet awards or not but last year i did do um the mtv awards and um i don't know i was just like f it I'll do a BET Awards to balance it out. <laughs> to balance it out. Okay, so the award show open up, opens up and we have um, Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar as the first performers. Now, I completely loved the performance. Beyonce and Kendrick on the same level for me. I mean, it was, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I was shocked. To see her there, because we all know, if you watch the BET Awards, Beyonce hasn't been there since goddamn Single Ladies, which was like five, six, seven years ago. But I'm going to just leave that there. She She's thrown a lot of shade towards the BET Awards. Will send fucking videos. But then show up to the MTV Awards and other award shows and shit. But you know. We not going to go there. Um, So I was very surprised uh, to see her there. I thought that it was going to be another video. Even when I saw the dancers. See this is this is how much shade she done thrown towards us. In the past years. Even though. Even when I saw the damn dancers. Coming down the aisle. I thought that she was still going to send a fucking video. And the way that the camera. Like panned up towards her. And the dancers on the stage. I just. Up, I just assumed and thought that it was a video. That she had dancers back at the BET uh stage and you know she was performing live at her concert or whatever but i was very proud to see her finally show her face again at the BET awards so that's definitely a dub for beyonce and kendrick and i love the part where kendrick was rapping and they were doing their thing kicking the water and shit back and forth that was cute um Okay, I'm not going through all of the performances, but I'm gonna try to touch on the the, the uh the main ones like the Prince tribute and shit like that. Okay, so you know every year they do the whole spotlight shit on the side stage, have uh like unknown quote unquote unknown artists sing and perform on the side stage. My favorite was Anderson Pack. He got off. If you know anything about Anderson Pack, he gets off and he got off on that damn stage. Um so yeah he was my favorite but everybody was pretty much good they had beyonce's artists up there they had another girl that went first um so everybody was pretty much good anderson was just my favorite um who else okay we had designer perform i'm not a huge fan but i mean i guess it was okay um i think the highlight of that was when he was performing they showed goddamn birdman sitting next to tony braxton and i was like wait a minute what is what is really going on with life right now um so (laughs) that was the highlight of his performance um and then you know future performed later on and you know how they compare them to future i'm not a big fan of future either i'm sorry i'm just not um some of his songs okay but i mean i'm just not i'm just not a big fan um Ah, shit. Okay, we had Usher perform. I'm skipping all over the place. I'm just saying who the fuck I remember. Usher performed, and I actually liked Usher's performance. Now, Usher has been giving us, like, lackluster fucking performances and songs for the past couple years. But I really like No Limit, and he got my boy Thugga Thugga up there. So, you know, I had to bang with it. I have to bang with it if Thugga Thugga is on it. I like it. Um, It doesn't really sound like it's a song for him. It sounds like maybe it was Chris Brown's song or some shit first and then Usher got it second or something like that. Don't really sound like one of his songs because we all know Usher is old as shit. But I really liked how, you know, he has the young song and he was up there showing us, you know, that he can still dance. Like when he first came out and was first doing music and stuff, killing the stage like before. So I really liked that. And he had that uh, that uh, little boy up there who's like an amazing dancer. I don't remember his name, but he's like famous now. You know, you'll see his little clips and videos on Instagram, Tumblr, you know, wherever. I think he's on So You Think You Can Dance now. He's an amazing dancer. But shout out to Usher for having him up there killing it. Um, so, yeah. 
one point one performance i did not really like was fat joe all the way up and uh french montana and remy ma was not effing with that at all for some reason i cannot stand that song and it ain't even that i can't stand the song it's just not is not living up the hype to the hype for me it's just not like people are like oh yeah that's the jam no no that's not the jam like that shit is whack as shit to me but like i said now that it is whack it's just not it's an okay song but since people hype it up so much it's whack you know what i'm saying just not my thing and then remy ma i'm like she comes out with this, in this fucking fugly ass dress and i'm just like what is going on with life like the whole war show i was like what is going on we got tony and braxton and baby getting it on which is just over my goddamn head then we got remy ma coming out here i'm just like next please um who else Bryson Tiller performed I'm also not a huge fan of his but I do like the songs he performed which are the songs that they play uh, 25,000 times in rotation on the radio um so yeah great there uh we finally saw his face like Charlamagne the guy said I didn't know what the fuck the dude looked like but he's kind of cute so I saw him last night uh he won some awards beyonce won some awards and her mom was there accepting them because she had to fly back and uh that was cool tina knows is beautiful as usual um i feel like i'm missing some some performers oh we had maxwell perform but i think he i think he did a tribute to prince so that's part of the tribute i'm gonna get to that uh well, if I think of another performer, I'll just add that in. Let's get to the Prince tribute. The Prince tribute was good compared to other Prince tributes. First, we had Erica Badu and Bilal perform. Sorry, I'm not really that. I love Prince, but I don't know all of his songs. Like, I'm not his number one fan, so I can't sit here and tell you what the fuck songs they were performing. But <laughs> Erica Badu performed, and I love Erica. Like, that's my girl um she did her damn thing the only th- my only issue with her performance is i couldn't really hear her it was like the band or something was like 10 times louder than she was so i couldn't make out anything she was saying that's the only thing i didn't like about it but she killed it um Bilal killed it like he was definitely my favorite if not i mean one of my favorites if not my favorite of the whole night and of the whole tribute uh, he took it to another level. And if you don't know Bilal, you need to do your Googles. <laughs> do your Googles because he's the man. And he works with like Kendrick Lamar and shit a lot. Um, for the new for the new school heads. He, he be on a lot of shit with uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, who was after that? I think we had uh, Janelle Monet next. I'm not even fucking sure, but... Everybody really loved her performance, but I was just, I thought it was so-so. And I know people are going to hate me for that, but I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. I like Janelle Monet, And Erica Badu really likes Janelle Monet, So, you know, I really like Erica Badu. So, I give <laughs> Janelle Monet some respect because my girl fucks with her. But I just thought it was okay. I thought it was so-so, like... She had the energy, but at the same time, it was, like, all over the place or something. And I know that's Janelle's style. I know that's her thing. But I don't know. I was just like, they could have got another artist to do this. And I know that Prince really liked Janelle Monet, so it fit. You know what I'm saying? Because he liked her, her doing a tribute. Like, it, it worked. Prince was probably looking down, smiling, and he loved it. But for me personally i was just like they could have got somebody else to do this shit she did do my song though i would die for you that's when i got hyped the whole time i was watching it like what is this messy shit but when she did i would die for you i was i was here for it um maxwell like i brought up earlier maxwell did his uh whole thing and maxwell is the man okay the man there's i can't there's nothing else to say about it when i saw jaleesa and him fucking booed up and or whatever the hell up in the audience i was like jaleesa you better goddamn get it okay you better get that old ass sexy ass man you better get it girl i don't even know if they're a couple but they was out there doing their thing 
so uh yeah so maxwell did his thing on the damn stage like usual um who else did a uh, goddamn tribute i can't even fucking remember but uh yeah so maxwell and then i'm gonna go straight into sheila e now sheila e was another perfect fit for a tribute to prince because we all know their relationship and their you know friendship that they had she was her and Bilal best best of the night for me i i can't choose i mean she killed it even when she did that fucking slide on the ground and almost broke her goddamn back she <laughs> killed it she killed it for real um i mean Sheila e is just a boss with it she's just a boss man i can't it's no hate it's just nothing but respect for her even when I said she broke her back, she she did that joint like a boss. She slid and almost broke her back like a motherfucking boss. Like, just too much respect towards her. And I loved at the end how they put up his guitar. That was just amazing. I mean, her shit was just amazing. Like, there's nothing else I can say. The only, only problem I had with the whole tribute is that they said D'Angelo was going to perform and he did not. I was definitely looking for D'Angelo to hit the BET stage. I mean, he hasn't hit a BET stage in a long goddamn time. And I was looking forward to seeing him. And I was also looking forward to seeing him perform that song that he performed on, uh, what was it, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, whichever one. I was looking forward to him because, I, I mean, he did the damn thing when he performed that tribute to Prince on that show. And I was looking forward to him taking that shit and bringing it to BET and doing it times 10. But he didn't, I don't know if he didn't show up, if just something didn't happen, if they lied or whatever. Because, you know, these these award shows lie about who's performing and shit on their previews. So maybe they lied or maybe he pulled out or maybe something was, you know, something wasn't right, whatever. But I was, you know, that was the only thing I was disappointed about. Um, pretty much. Oh, Alicia Keys performed shit. I'm forgetting people. And I thought Alicia Keys was okay. A lot of people are really hating on her performance. But one thing I always say about Alicia Keys, she is not the best singer. And she's not the best artist in the fucking world. But one thing you cannot deny is that that bitch puts out fucking hits. On every album, she got some hits, okay? Diary, You Don't Know My Name, that first song that I ain't really like where she was running around the streets of New York playing the piano and shit with the braids. That, pe- that I mean, even though I don't like it, it's a hit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be objective. The song she got with Maxwell. I mean, Alicia Keys puts out goddamn hits. Uh, the song she got with Drake, Unthinkable. You can't sleep on her. You can't sleep on her when it comes to the songs. And another thing that I said, we all know that Alicia Keys is not the most sexy. Is I mean, she's a be- she's a beautiful woman, but she doesn't spew sex appeal like a Beyonce or Rihanna, and she's a little quirky. So her performance is gonna show that it's gonna be quirky and unsexy. You know, so when people hate on Alicia Keys, I'm just like, what are you expecting? You know what I'm saying? Like, she is who she is. And she is who she is. So, you can't you can't be mad at it. You know? I got respect for Alicia Keys. I just can't hate on it. We all know she quirky and shit. And I thought that in Common song, I don't really like that song. But I thought that her uh, acoustic, however you pronounce that shit, her acoustic version was really good. It made me like the song a lot more than I did before. Um, the only part I didn't like about her performance is when she started thrusting her pelvis at me. I had to mute it and I had to do something else because I was like, no, I'm not here for it. Because like I said, she's quirky and she lacks, uh, the, the, the spewing sex appeal. I respect her. I'm not hating on it, but it's just, I ain't just, I ain't trying to see that. Okay. From Alicia Keys. I'm just not. Uh, and yeah, so that was pretty much it. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to end on the Alicia Keys note, you know. Wish I could have just remembered that earlier and ended it on Prince. But, I mean, it is what it is. I thought the award show was okay. It was not better than last year for me. A lot of people are real hype because, you know, they did the whole Prince thing. And I thought the whole Prince tribute was what kept the show going. Because it was on for like five fucking hours. And, uh... That's the reason I kept it on the channel to keep seeing, you know, who was performing. Was D'Angelo's ass going to be there? 
But uh, without that, that shit was whack. I mean, most of the performances was fucking whack. Future whack. The designer whack. I mean, shit. Okay, I could have deal uh, without a lot of them goddamn performances. But it was okay. And uh, yeah, so let let me know if y'all fucked with it. Like, comment, and, and subscribe. Peace.